Here at CES 2019, we've seen a whole range of desktops and laptops that go from freaking incredible to genuinely disappointing. And now it's time for our roundup of the top five Intel powered computers sponsored by Intel. Starting, of course, with the Orion 9000, or more specifically, the Orion 9000 hooked up to what Acer is calling the Thronos. This thing couldn't be more aptly named. It comes with a Core i7-8700K processor, an RTX 2080 Ti, like 64 gigs of RAM or something crazy like that. It's this giant tower, but it's nothing compared to the chair that actually comes as part of the package. So for your $10,000, you get an awesome gaming system, a full set of gaming peripherals, three 27 inch, 144 hertz gaming monitors, and a motorized gaming cockpit that not just has an arm that swings open and closed to bring your peripherals to you, but it also has drink holders, a USB hub, and even a zero gravity mode where it tilts the entire thing back so you can be completely immersed in your games. The last thing that blew me away is that Acer will come to your house and set it up for you, a process that they say will take two hours or more. Next up, we've got the Corsair 1 Pro. So two years ago, when the Corsair 1 originally came out, we were amazed that they were properly cooling and powering a quad-core processor and a GTX 1080 in such a small package, with water cooling too. But since then, Corsair has turned up the dial, upping the cores to six, and we were like, okay, that's nice. But then, 12, 12 cores in the Corsair 1 Pro, and they claim it could handle even Intel's 18 core processors if someone wanted to come in and upgrade it themselves. So this thing can not just game, but it can crank out renders, streams, and generally hold its own in any kind of workstation, and generally hold its own in any kind of light workstation application like video editing. And when it is time to game, the One Pro is equipped with an RTX 2080 Ti, and they've got a 750 watt power supply crammed in there that, like the rest of the fans in the system, can be turned off when it's idle, so it is darn near silent. Next up, what if you want to go even smaller than a Corsair One? Well, Zotac has you covered with the Mech Mini. Crammed into this 9.17 liter chassis, they have somehow got a Core i7-8700 and an NVIDIA RTX 2070, meaning you can have real gaming power at a LAN or like DreamHack or something without breaking your back. The rest of the loadout is fairly sensible with 16 gigs of RAM, a 240 gig SSD, and two terabytes of hard drive space to store all your games. And currently it's destined to be available in this black color in a month or two. And then they also have four other funky colors that could be coming if there's interest. Keeping with this video's theme of increasing portability as we go, Asus made this. So the ROG mothership, it's like a laptop, but with the laptop bits moved up behind the screen. So moving the components here has allowed them to make it a lot thinner than the G703 that it sort of replaces due to the improved thermals that they get when the computer part isn't being choked out by sitting right next to the desk. The ROG Mothership features a detachable wireless keyboard, meaning you can center its position in a more comfortable way compared to the screen. And if you're worried about latency, by the way, you can plug it in via USB Type-C. Of course, it wouldn't be a desktop replacement if it didn't have the horses of a desktop. But fear not, rocking a Core i9-8950HK 6-core overclockable processor, an RTX 2080, and three M.2 drives in RAID 0 through the CPU itself rather than all through the chipset for better bandwidth, the mothership can certainly run with the big boys, and we are very curious to see what it's going to be like to switch to longer term once it's past the prototype phase. On the subject of prototype phase, we've got the ASUS Strix 240Hz. With almost every laptop under the sun getting an upgrade to RTX 20 series GPUs, and of course, super fast Core i7 processors, getting them to pump out frames isn't a problem. It's having a display that can keep up, but ASUS has fixed that by increasing the refresh rate of their new Strix Scar 2 to 240Hz. Like the responsiveness of the display on this thing is absolutely incredible. With that many frames being delivered to your eyes, you have a true competitive advantage in games like CSGO and Rainbow Six Siege. And you know what's even better? It's not a TN panel, meaning you get that added responsiveness and fluidity without sacrificing things like color and viewing angles. 
Now, for those of you keeping score, you might have realized that we already did five. But five just wasn't enough when Alienware came in with their Area 51M and basically blew my mind. Like, sure, it's pretty big as far as laptops go, and it doesn't change the form factor like the mothership did, but somehow they got a full-powered desktop Core i9-9900K in this thing. Like, look at this. That is a desktop socket. Like, you could just, you could, you could buy a lower-end one and just rip out the CPU and, and put in a different chip if you wanted. And the craziest thing is they didn't stop the upgradability there because the GPU, an RTX 2080, they are saying can also be swapped out with Dell's not MXM mobile GPU form factor. So that means that assuming they continue to support it, which they've said they want to, this machine could be spitting out top end frame rates for years to come. And I guess that about does it for our top Intel powered systems at CES 2019. Thank you to Intel for sponsoring this video. Thank you to you guys for watching it and we will see you guys back at the office. Okay.